Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different Spoil. I hope everybody's having a great day today. I know I am. I'm so excited with y'all. Well, first off, I must apologize. I've been a little bit absent. Uh, my computer crashed and I got a virus on it. And so I've been happy to make these little videos on my phone. And it's been so tedious. So I finally got this one uploaded and ready. And so here it is with you guys. But I'm also excited because for today's vlog is going to be our first story time. Um, as I stated previously before, in our other videos um, we're going to be doing story time in uh, essence to promote my new book what if a controversial paradigm shift as well as you guys know with third eye entertainment we try to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate inspire and entertain all at once as well as we like to talk about issues that are often swept under the rug and considered taboo or people like to turn a blind eye to i.e systemic racism and so um the reason being why I wrote the book is because I'm tired of people or so a group of people, if you will, um, who who don't want to acknowledge that systemic racism is still alive and kicking. And so I thought with the book, how about we do a race role reversal? What if the shoe was on the other foot? And it basically asked the question, you know, what if this happened to you and your ancestors or if this was still happening to you and your people, then how would you feel? And if the answer is, I'm not okay with it or it's wrong, then my question to you would be, then why is it okay or is it justified or people turn a blind eye when it happens to people of opposite race or, 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 or minority race, if you will. And so um, that's the reason why I chose the controversial route. I must disclose that this video does contain, the story time does contain sensitive content, does have graphic illustrations. And so if this offends you and... Um, uh, it upsets you in any way, then please go no further. Um, like I said before, you know, this is grown folks only uh, type of talk. And for those who are mature enough to handle these conversations, um, those are my target audience. And um, it's, it's again to, you know, push the envelope for people to have these thought provoking conversations about systemic racism. Um, to talk about, you know, in efforts of systemic change. Quite frankly, I'm tired of talking about systemic racism. I'm ready to talk about systemic change, you know. However, I'm well aware that it does not happen overnight, and it does not happen with just one person. It takes more than one voice being heard, and it takes constant work effort. And so um, it's, this is just my theory, you know, YouTube. What if this is a generation that plants the seed for the next and so nothing beats a failure but a try. And so here's my try and my attempt to, you know, you know, push the envelope and get people to, you know, talk about these issues because then it is my theory and hope that over time, once we talk about these issues and come up with ways to combat it, then that is where systemic change can take place. And so, um, Definitely, you guys, you know, comment, share your opinion, whether, again, if it's good or bad, ugly, share it. That's the point of this book is to get the conversation rolling and for people to talk about these issues. And so uh, definitely, you know, I'll come back on once the video is over with and we'll talk a little bit more about, you know, what's going on in Difference World and um, this, that, and the third. But other than that, you guys, check out the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Warning, the following content is controversial and might be disturbing for some audiences. Your discretion advised. What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in illegal slave trade? What if they kidnapped millions of English men, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on slave ships? What if when these white slaves arrived in America, many were sold off to different plantations never to see nor hear from their families again? What if black slave owners used white slave babies as bait to lure alligators into hunting traps and were often eaten by them? What if, to satisfy their secret proclivities, black slave owners emasculated and humiliated their white male slaves by sodomizing them in front of their families and in public? What if, when black slave owners caught their white runaway slaves, those slaves were met with unruly punishment? What if, as a punishment for not meeting their quotas in the field, white slaves had to wash their children's hands or feet being severed from their bodies? What if, to keep the white slaves divided among themselves, black slave owners kept the pale white slaves in the field and the mixed breeds could work in the house? What if George Washington was a black president 
who forcefully took his white slaves to, to use as his own. What if Thomas Jefferson was a black president who molested and impregnated his 14-year-old white slave with a total of six of his offspring? What if poor white slaves had to endure deplorable treatment from black slave owners for nearly two centuries? They would not know what freedom was until two and a half years after the Civil War ended, better known as Juneteenth. What if it was viewed as normal and comical for black people to dress up like white folks for amusement and profits? What if this dehumanizing factor was known as white face? What if in the summer of 1921, a wealthy white oil rich community in Tulsa, Oklahoma was viciously massacred by an angry black mob, leaving hundreds of white people dead, thousands of their homes and businesses destroyed? What if, in August of 1955, a 14-year-old white boy from Chicago named Emmett Till went to Mississippi to visit his family and ended up dead, all because he allegedly whistled at a black woman? What if the help consisted of poor white people working for wealthy black families wherein white housemaids nursed black babies and white male shoe signers spent hours bent over shining black men's shoes? Not to mention they often were faced with racial hardship were underpaid and received no medical benefits while earning their living. What if on September 15, 1963, a black man killed four little white girls by planting a bomb at a church in Birmingham, Alabama? Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching um, Storytime, a historical controversial paradigm shift. Uh, with excerpts from my new book, Dun -da -da -da, What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift, which is available at my website, differenceworld.net. So head on over and get your copy now if this is intriguing to you and you want to learn more about what it is that I'm talking about in the book. You can head on over and get your copy there. Um, you know, for those who are watching this and they're getting upset by those illustrations that you see, you know, white people in shackles and chain and being whipped by black slave owners, you know, imagine how we feel, you know, and how we feel now as of what we're going through in these times. Uh, I know those who, who are aware, you know, if you guys, last week we got the verdict for the Kyle Rittenhouse and um, I don't want to speak too much on it because if you want to hear my opinion on it, then you go buy the book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, because I talk about that in this book. And, and so, um, but in all, in any case, that just goes to show you, you know, just how much power white privileges, you know, can have. It shows right here in our faces that, you know, a white person can not only, you know, kill a black man and get away with it, but they can kill their own and get away with it. And so if that doesn't cause us, you know, any upset and unrest, then, you know, we're doomed, <laughs> basically. And so if, if, and, and if you sitting there, you know, trying to turn a blind eye to it and, and trying to minimize it and, and don't want to accept the fact that this, you know, young man has taken away two lives, you know, all over the, the thought of that he had, he felt entitled to defend his country and what he, he might have, you know, felt however he felt in that time. But, you know, to take another life that that's, you know, two at that. <laughs> and then, you know, you know, get off Scott clean with it. You know, hey, if, if, you know, that's what they decided, then, you know, we have to respect that decision. But then that just goes to show, you know, just how broken the judicial system is. And so we can't necessarily blame him for getting off scot free look at how you know the judicial system is set up you know and so <laughs> i don't know you guys i I've, I've i've commented enough you guys make sure you drop your comment below in the comment section and you know subscribe to the video to the my channel and share the video if you will and don't forget you know go to my website and get the book what if a controversial paradigm shift and what else you guys um yeah, I've been having a lot that's going on in the difference world. Well, um, I just did a radio interview with KTSU 99.90 FM out in Houston. So shout out to KTSU and TSU um, Tigers out there. So thank you guys so much for having me in my first radio interview. Um, 
and I appreciate all the love and responses I'm getting from that. <laughs> um, what else, you guys? I think that's all for now. Uh, I think the next video I'll be doing, like I said, um, I'm limited on making these videos. I have to do it through my phone, so work with me, people. Um, but I think the next video, I will be uploading a travel uh, video. And so be on the lookout for that, you guys. Uh, what else? What else? Um, I think that's all. Whatever it is, you know, don't forget. Whatever it is in life that you want, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Difference will come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different, Illustrations by Anastasia Arnold, coming August 2021. Go to differenceworld.net.